here the requirement is how to get the end value five days from the start date that means if user selected 26th as start date and add five days to the 26 whatever user selected start date that plus five days 25 plus five days one two three four five 31 is the end date if user selected uh, first april is the start date that means sixth is the end date i i am do i will do this using client script okay first come to the client script give the name get add Okay. Select your table here. My table is custom table one is my table name. Custom table one. table table one and select your type as all i'm writing on change of this on change of start date whenever the start date changes it automatically we need to automatically store the set the value here select start date here now come to the script now write client script add five days first get the value first here first we need to do is first what number we are adding for example we are adding five days five days where at five okay now get the start here u underscore start date is a backend value of start if you want to check the backend value of start date right click on this field you will get here show u underscore start date is a, this is a backend value okay. if you want end values backend value then right click on this you will find this backend value here we are calling this and now So now get a date from first we need to get the date from start date and we will add this five days okay first I'm getting the just date that means if if I selected 26 here we will get 26 okay now total days means whatever user selected here example i selected 26 plus this one we need to add this both using parse int parse int like integer integer will convert this into integer value first i am getting this first this i will get like example 26 i will get after that plus and parse parse int plus this one whatever i made if you want seven days just change the number okay seven example 26 plus 5 is equal to 31 okay 
started dot now set the set the state in set we are getting 31 okay 31 we are setting this date setting this 31 in start date we are setting here of total we are getting we are taking this 31 and setting here setting in start date now add dates now we are uh, forming the original format like we are just getting 31 day 31 days okay so 25 plus 31 is the 31st march okay now we are setting the we are uh, now we need to create the format for this format date what to format this place we need to uh, get this and format using user and it's good date and this good format okay you underscore user underscore date and good format now we are uh, formatting this one here we are getting the start date plus five days and in format in format also we are getting total date like 20 uh, 26 plus 31 31st March 2022 we are getting the total date with format now we need to set this into in our end date g underscore form dot set value of my backend value of end date is end underscore date and I am setting this to here okay this one I am clicking on format and saving this client script Now come to a record, reload the record here. If I selected 25th as start date and plus 25 uh, plus 5 is equal to 30, 38th end date. If I selected um, 1st April as start date and plus 5 days, 6th April as the end date. If I remove the value here, if user selected and then removed, we need to remove this as well, like clear this value as well. For that, we need to add here g underscore form dot clear value of end date. u underscore end underscore date. If new value means end, this is the new value means start date. This new value is empty. If it is empty, we need to clear the value. If it is not empty, then it will uh, okay. This and save here. Now come to our record, reload the record. If user selected 15th as start date plus 5 20th, 20th uh, March 2022 uh, is end date. And if user clear this start date, we need to clear this as well. I hope you like this video. Thank you.